I'm Sir Tap Tap, and welcome to Let's Play Fort Meow. I'd like to thank the creators for shoving that little monetization permission right there in the loading screen there. That's nice and convenient. Yes, hello, Barker. Um, <coughs> just start a new little game here. This game is for Steam on PC or. By her mother. Oh. Nia stared up at the gigantic house looming in front of her. We've got dialogue, Barker. She usually spent her vacations here with her grandparents. She peered Barker. into the darkness. Get, get, no. It was kind of strange that the front door was already open and there didn't seem to be anyone home. Spooky. Her mother had told her not to expect Grandad to be around. He was due to go into hospital for surgery the day before she arrived. Perhaps that was why no one was around. Two flights of stairs later, Nia had arrived at the final steps up to the attic. During her holidays, she liked to spend most of her time exploring here. She found some solitude in the attic and enjoyed spending her time rummaging around in the mountains of family relics. She found something new on every visit. This time, however, something caught her eye almost immediately. It had her grandfather's name scribbled on the front cover. If there ever was a contest for finding the most interesting item in the attic, she'd just won. And so she sat down and began to read. Exciting. So this is Fort Meow. It's like a defense game. And that's what happens if you lose. A cat sits in your lap. The worst possible fate. The worst possible fate. Do you hear that, Parker? I don't think he gets it. So yeah, this game is for Steam, um, PC on Steam, or you can get it on iOS. I know it's for iPad, I'm not sure about iPhone. Things are usually both these days. So you just put your little thingies down here. Barker. Claws. And you can adjust the angle if you want to, like... Nothing. Let's get out of here. Um, you don't really have anything fancy to build with quite yet. Yeah, so the cats just jump in from the left and right side. And as you go on, you read new pages of the book, because that's sort of the point. Um, you can pause and read them if you like, they're not super exciting so far. Some of them are kind of funny. Um, and you also- oops, I want to show the cats. You can- it also serves, serves as the bestiary, because the different kinds of cats you see will show up on there. It starts off with most of the same. And you get, um, your resources are time, so you get, you know, X amount of minutes or whatever to build your stuff. And, uh, you can just, you don't run out of items, you just have to replace them if they get destroyed, so no worries. And there's no particular, oh dang, that was close. There's no particular, um, stop licking the microphone, um, no particular... Uh, penalty for losing other than having to redo the level. No, all the levels are short. It's basically... Barker, you've got clumps. You've got clumps. Sorry, I'm declumping the cat here. Um, the levels are more puzzly than defensy, really, because um, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the waves are always like... the physics are deterministic and stuff, I think, and so... You just need to find a specific pattern that will solve that wave rather than, you know, deal with any random number stuff. So yeah, now we introduce the Move It bot. So let's go down and find some crap to block the cats with. So every time your thing gets to 100% you can pick up a new item. We are going to start with the TV because every time the TV is destroyed we get an extra 5%. So it's a good one to start with. Obviously everything differs in how much time it takes to put up and 
how many hits it takes. Parker. The pillows are very small and cheap, but they take two hits. They're pretty good. We kind of want them to destroy the TV. Because it's... There we go. <coughs> because the TV gives us a little bit more. I think it's 5% extra uh, charge. Oh yeah, these guys are jerks. Um, those cats with the melon on their head dive in from the, like, straight in from the side. Parker, you're really getting in the way. So, hmm. we need better balance on this level. So, let's focus on a couple of these. The brooms will block... I think they block those, yeah. Brooms block a single um, hit, and they're actually surprisingly useful because they're crazy cheap. And you get 10 more minutes, I think, pretty much every time you beat a level. So Melahan heads are annoying, but all you have to do is just place down the uh, brooms to block their path. Because you really don't want them to... If they break the chairs, the chairs basically hold up all of your stuff. So this is actually a new randomness mechanic. So every level, we'll get a random thing from this. And some of them seem to be cosmetic only. And we don't really need to use that right now. And often you'll end up using the broom just because you don't have any more uh, time. And I don't... <laughs> the items that thing drops down are consumable. And I'm pretty sure you get to keep them if you don't actually use them, so don't waste them. Telling our stories of the dear old grandpa or whatever. You also get stamps. Pretty sure they're just totally random from um, stuff getting broken. TV. Oh, and you can see it'll show you. Oh crap! Should have noticed. Um, that was embarrassing. I should have taken my own advice. You can see what's coming from each side. And obviously since we have those stupid jerk... Um, the melon head cats. We're going to have to put up brooms. Every couple levels or so, you'll get the ability to uh, pick something else up. And we can't go into these rooms yet, because we don't have a light bulb. I don't think we can get one yet. Okay, we'll just take this. All right. Oh, and these have different... Um, I actually don't think we have anything else too interesting. Only the TV has special effects so far. But the coffee table is pretty nice because it takes four hits. Unfortunately, we need that TV, so. Yes, I know you want attention, partner. I'm doing a video. Don't bite me! Don't take out your frustrations on my human flesh. Someone's grumpy. Did some stuff. Again, you can pause and read that if you want. I hope it's recording well enough that you can actually read. It should be. Ah, Barkies. The art doesn't seem quite native 1080p on some of this, like at least some of the zoomed in stuff. 
Doesn't look terrible or anything, though. Um, oh, right, I keep forgetting to open this. You have to open it each time if you want your new thingy. Deep's trying. Okay, so we gonna have to keep blocking these melon heads. We had two. It's not a big deal, though. Oh, right. I know. How do I... Oh, right. It's the explore button. So, yeah, I'm sure the controls work just fine on iPad, because it's all mouse controlled on here, and... Let's see. Ooh. See any fat cats yet? So let's let's try this lamp. This sounds strategic. All right, let's put that there. Hmm. I wonder. No. Sit still. Hmm. I can't really top it off, but whatever. D oh. Those freaking jerks. And you broke the lamp first. That's just great. Crap. Not a big fan of the melon head cats. Uh, sure. Not ah, crap. Not explore. Defend. Not sure why she says that every time. Kind of just gets in the way. Oh, crap. Um. Hmm. Can I prevent it from being destroyed? How much do those deal? Book. Cat. Oh, I'm not sure how much damage those things deal exactly. Still destroys it. Okay, I don't think the lamp is helping me. The okay, lamp goes. Okay, what's the cheapest item here? I agree, dogs are definitely a no-go. Cats, definitely approved. Oh, fat cat. Um, I guess I should have gotten that beanbag, so this thing doesn't seem to do very much right now. It's probably better when they're cats dealing more damage. pillows. Let's see what the fat cat does. Probably not gonna like it. Holy crap! It's a freaking wrecking ball. Well, survived that from pure luck. Oh crap, we forgot to open that. I keep forgetting to grab our stuff. There's a damaged item. Oh, that's very useful. Um, so now we have the ability to... Oh crap, that's, that's not gonna end well. Alright, 
Let us go explore. I was hoping to at least open up the second room. I think since we're out of items in this room, it should open up. I think. Oh yeah, room cleared so we get extra minutes. Alrighty. I want to explore that next room, and then we'll probably call that a video. Um. I'm just going to try that. I doubt it's actually going to do anything in this particular wave. I'm, I'm not going to question that. That's that's fine. Thank you, physics. Oh crap, that's kind of precarious. Okay, so the beanbag is no different. Okay, what's this? What do we got here? Parker, get down. There you go. The hidden dealie bopper in the basement, eh? The plot thickens. Stupid fat cats. Eagle statue, crank. Chain crank. Uh. Interesting, what do we... What's this? Stat bot. Interesting. But let's see what we can do here. Like... So, we need that. Cats! Crank. There we go! I see. Um, which room do we want? I want this room, because it's huge. Excellent. Uh, what do we want? Oh, we don't have enough crap. Oh, it only has three items. Or, now it's got four. Douses few lines with ice water. Jutes toast! Ah, oh, I want that toast thingy. Oh, that sounds cool too. So we definitely got some strategery going on here. But for now, let's go back and defend. How do I... There we go. This main menu here makes a little less sense on mouse. Feels like... Because you have to click and drag to move. So it feels a little like it was supposed to be designed for touch. Um, where? How did you end up over there? All right. So fat cat coming this from the left, I guess. Let's put that there. Holy crap! That's a lot of stupid jerk melon heads. Um, It sounds like a racist term or something. I hope it's not. Nice! It just bounces him away. Oh crap. Aw oh, man! Um. Stupid physics. Okay. Um. Okay, so... I'm gonna have to use an item here. Boop. Boop. Beanie. Actually. Just build a giant ass pile here. And. Sure! Hey, I blocked your freaking. Apparently the melon heads could not be blocked. Oh. Well, that was close. So as we can see, the waves do get a bit more fierce after we finally get started here. Let's go back down. Oh man, what do I want? Toast sounds pretty amazing, but being able to place more stuff... Seems... Pretty crazy good. I 
act oh, it's actually pretty expensive, so it seems like it could be better used later on. I want this this floating bubble thingy. This seems pretty ridiculous. Alright. So one more round. We're gonna focus our designs here. How does this even work? Just gonna What the hell? Cerberus cat? I don't know what's going on. Got scared. Um Seems risky here. This freaking Cerberus cat, what is this? Oh, whoa! It's the freaking, um... What color bird is it? You know the one, the one from Angry Birds that splits into three. So the bubble thing, not... Not very useful. Aw, oh, and I wasted my consumable. Oh well. You get the gist of it. This is Fort Meow. You can check it out on Steam or on your Apple-approved iDevice. 